Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can work with filters with Vue.js. So now, right here, I am inside the Vue.js normal project, which we are using in this tutorial. And you can also go down to the description of this video and go down to the GitHub repository, which contains this code. So now, before we start, let me just please ask you to go to our website tutorialsxl.com where you can find a lot of online training courses you can also subscribe to our uh, newsletter where you can get a lot of exclusive offers just for the signups on the site or the emailing list so please do that subscribe to our newsletter and join our new training online site tutorials excel which we will bring you a lot of nice and really cool things now let's continue with the tutorial so now uh, i have added this new page which is called filters and you will find it right here inside the uh, example project a project in the github repository and it will be filters.view okay now inside this filter right here we're gonna work with different data and add some filters that will help us to modify our own string interpretation and modify the data that will be appearing to our users so now let's let's first thing first come down here to the data now i will just add a comma okay and i will add a new object uh, of let's say array of objects called user data so now user data we're gonna call this array of object okay now we're gonna need to add the object data let me just make this curly place in a much better place okay so now we're gonna need the name of the user and I'm gonna leave it as John okay and we're gonna need also his age so let's do that let's add maybe 45 okay let's just copy and paste this several times we're gonna call this one David and we're gonna call this one Amar okay and uh, let's give this one 25 and let's just give one 18 okay let's remove this so now we have this array of object now we wanna display or iterate through this array of object and display it inside our own view component let's do that let's come down here let's add uh, an unordered list Now inside that in or, uh, unordered list, we're gonna add the list item. And what we will do, we're gonna call the v-4, okay? And we're gonna say item in user data. Now, inside the uh, list item, we're gonna do the string interpretation. Now we're gonna call in the item and we're gonna call in the name, okay? And I'm going to put a dash and I'm gonna call in the item dot h, okay? So now let's just save this and go quickly, see our application and we have this unordered list right here, okay? It says John, David and the name and uh, the age of each user we have okay so now what we need to do we want to capitalize the name okay and make it entirely capital so how we can do that now we're gonna work with filters and filters is just a way or say a method or a function we can call okay uh, uh, after we add the sign right here okay and make it modify the data that's appearing okay so the filters can help us like in formatting uh, in capitalizing uh, in different some data operation that we want to do on each item that we iterate so now let's hit down here okay now after the methods what i would like to do i would like to add the filters or calling 
the filters okay now uh, just like we are defining a method in the methods section we're gonna just call in capital capital uh, okay and we're gonna just need to pass in a function now this function need to take a value okay which is the value will be passed whenever an iteration will happen okay so now let's sit back down here to the function now let's just do a quick check if the value equal nothing we're gonna just return value okay we're not gonna do any operation now what we want to do wanna make the entire value capital so let's do that let's call and return value dot to upper case okay so oops all right so now we have called in this right here notice just like any normal methods function okay it just called in inside the filters uh, property and right here we are passing the value which is will be the name right here and then we are making it uppercase so let's save so now let's sit back here okay now we're gonna need to call in the filter okay which is the capital filter so let's do that okay now after we have called the filter okay if we save the application and hit back to the page you will notice that all the letters are now capitalized okay so as you can see really simple and really easy to create a filter in Vue.js and do operation on that data now uh, what if we want also to capitalize the first letter okay not the entire word so let's come down here let's go uh, let's call it capital first I'm sorry uh, capital first and it's calling the function again and it's passing the value oops now uh, to do this we need to do the following let's return the value okay and we need to call in character at zero okay to uppercase plus value dot slice and we're gonna call one so this is just uh, this is just a small code that will uh, remove the first uh, letter okay the small one and replace it with just an uppercase one so oops we need an f right here so oops sorry uh, first okay uh, let's copy that and let's use it instead of capital so now let's before saving as you notice it's all capitalized as soon as i save and hit back to the page it will only capitalize the first letter and leave the rest as usual or let's say normal so now that's one thing now uh, let's do something for the age okay let's come down here again and let's call it check h okay and let's call in a function and let's call it value okay now we're gonna just do a small check okay if the value are equal to or let's say larger than 18 okay we're gonna need to return okay let's say young and the age okay let's add the space and let's add the value okay uh, if he 
let's see what we have uh, an age let's say that we have his age as uh, 45 okay or uh, uh, no let's just add I'm sorry else if value larger than 40 okay let's just return adult okay now uh, the default case uh, let's return just the value okay so now we need to just copy check edge up right here let's save this and let's hit to our application and we have as you notice we have the value now modified and returned to us after we have checked the numbers now also you can like create a date time formatting okay or any other type of formatting that you find suitable for you to use filters so now that was the filters uh, for Vue.js uh, please again go to sign up to our uh, newsletter at tutorialsxl.com and also please uh, uh, thumb up this video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel i hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful and thank you a lot for watching